I think I took uh, I took jump like three times. Then at the point, I fed up. I'm not going to do like this. Did you call the cops? <laughs> moment there are over a hundred thousand results being held at the jam office for one reason or the other now I can only imagine how devastated those students are and how confused and unsure they are about their future so I'm here on the street to talk to some students who have written jam once twice some maybe even three times to find out what the experiences were like do you remember your jam score I don't even remember mine what, what is my Anyways, let's talk to somebody about jam. Come on. Scrap jam or keep jam? School is a scam. Left to me, if there's a better alternative to jam, scrap jam. Scrap jam. Everybody in scrap jam, forget about it. I'll say scrap jam because it's not actually, it's not actually um, measuring the kind of intelligence is supposed to measure in this sense. Crap that shit, man. Seriously, I won't say they should scrap it. Reason because um, student won't be serious anymore. That's one and two. What are we going to use to get into university? Do you want like every student to just go into university? You have to like test their um, intellectual. Be sure they are very intelligent. You have to be. You just have to like make sure this person is what to be here. I think they should keep jam because if they scrap jam, the last time when they stopped post UTM, it was really bad because even people that did, that deserved to be in school, they were not so lucky. Keep jam. Yeah. Keep jam because if you scrap jam, then how do you go to school? Well, I would suggest they keep jam, but they could work better yeah. on their management. I think they should just scrap jam because it doesn't actually make sense. I would say they should scrap it because right now jam seems to be making a whole lot of money. That's all they are concerned or that's all they care about. Just making money. They don't care about the exam. They don't care about the students. You can imagine some people even to register. It's a problem. If you remove jam, it's going to be hard, very hard for people to enter into the university because that's when universities will now make their cut -off mark very, very high and they are pushing me very, very hard. There's this notion that society has, that if you write jam more than once, you're not as smart as people that write it only one time. What do you think about that? I don't believe that. As I am speaking to you right now, there is a lot of graduates I'm far, far better off. That does not mean that probably maybe they wrote their jam once and they entered. Do you understand? So I don't actually believe in jam. I believe in, I believe in what, what you read. Do you understand? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of non-graduates are out there. They are very. They are, we have a lot of educated and talented people. Not they have maybe because they don't have the opportunity of going to school, but because they have the opportunity of reading, researching. So I believe the more you read, the more you research, the more you have the knowledge. Actually, I really don't care. That's one. If I'm writing jam for the first time and um, I have problem with it or the result is not good, I think what it's trying to tell me is just keep, uh, just work hard, like just do better, you get. And if it is, I don't know, sometimes some people have this notion that jam doesn't like the, the marking skill, like they don't really understand, you understand, like, okay, how come I have this and I think I'm supposed to have this? Well, uh, like they say, you don't judge a book by its cover. Situations happen, things happen. You know, writing jam two, three times doesn't make you a dullard. Something happened, actually. And you find out that people that even write jam five times, they're going to university, and because of the anger they used in writing the jam, they used to come, coming out of school very good. I don't think that's true. That's not true, because uh, even a lot of people that have written jam bones, after all, about my age, some of them excel then because they got some source of so, yeah. some help, you know. So that's not that's not very true. It's a lie. Jam is dog. Mm. So like like bet. Yeah, jam is a bet because you see some brilliant students getting one eat something, one eye something. I see some fucking nothing here getting 200, 300 and above. No, I don't think so. If you write the exam the first time and you made it. You're fortunate. If you write it the first time or you're writing it again the second time, I think you're more experienced. Yeah. So it means you would definitely be opportune to score better. Yeah. Personally, yeah, I, f I see jam to not be a true test of knowledge. In the sense that, 
uh, most times once you do a result, once you do your jam, and then people expect you to be when you are very smart in your school, and people expect a very high score from you, and then you don't perform to your expectations. I think it's just the jam issue that the Nigerian that new system, that's new CBT. Most times, my my mates, I think they had issues with their questions. Some questions will not be complete, so it's always a bit messed up. So it's you not know, the students' fault itself. I I will blame Nigeria. Nah, that's a big fat lie. Because come to think of it, like they always say, sometimes you failing an exam doesn't mean you're not smart. There could be other factors. Imagine those that came late for the exam. How do you expect them to perform? The place is hot, rowdy. How would someone think to write? It doesn't make them dull. It doesn't make them less smart. But it's just what it is. The, the, the environment is not even friendly to start with. It's not conducive. So it doesn't make one dull. No, I wasn't a dull student to so have written twice. No. Can you share with us your funniest or scariest moment while writing a jam exam? OK, the scary thing that happened was that all some guys kept their phone with a security guy. Apparently, it wasn't a security guy, so he ran off with over 20 phones that day, so... <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Everything so compulsory, like, some of your phones, some of your yeah, you understand, it was really crazy. People started crying, started running from one place, if they, if they could find the um, security guy, but it was nowhere to be found. It wasn't so organized, there was chaos, some people came late because they couldn't find their centers on time, you know, some couldn't find their answer sheets. You know, so the whole place was like in pandemonium, but at the end of the day, what can we do? If you miss it, you miss it. You have to wait for another year. Um, actually, it was um, parents. Uh, that's the issue I have with parents going to jam centers with students. Then you see them, they are always much there, and sometimes they cause commotion, like, you know, there are a lot of people there, and you're not really comfortable with the fact that you can't even get into your center to write your exams yeah exactly so you you see a lot of people there and you don't even know what to do that moment because you have to get across them we're writing jam computer just froze and it was only the time that I was reading so i didn't know why i started shouting the exam or like excuse me excuse me excuse me it was a bit messed up because i did that it could do last put side it was a bit messed up and everyone was struggling that my time that I think because my exam was supposed to start like 9 a.m. and then we didn't start on time, so it was going to like 12 a.m. So people started rushing in because some people were saying they wanted to meet another appointment, yeah. so they were rushing. So everything was a bit messed up. How many times did you write? One. One time. You remember your score? 269. Actually, it was not fun. At a point, <laughs> I it was jamming me, I was not the one writing the jam, so I I think I took uh, I took jam like three times. Then at the point, I fed up. That was the reason why I couldn't uh, complete my education because I was having challenges on my jam. Well, and that was the, the first because I know I went to jam like two, three times. So the first one, the first one was funny because then I just left school and my my brain was still fresh and. I think I, I I I did I did justice to it. The first one I did was two ninety five and. Upon her, I didn't get to enter into any school because I think what was my posture, I had problems with. The first time I wrote Jamba, I scored 234. I chose in lag. I did not get admission because of the O level stuff. Last year, I wrote Jamba, I scored 259. I chose Lasso. They did Indigen stuff, just all this normal Nigerian politics. This year, I've written Jamba again, but I'm doing part time in Yabatek already. Okay. It was 195. And I wanted to go to Unilag. But then, I just, last like time I will stay in Yabatek. Let me just finish. Actually, the first time I had 198. So when my dad was like, I told him, I showed him, I showed my dad, and was like, okay, you can do other. You can also, you can try other the next time. And the next one, I had like 235. Did you experience any delay with your results? Yes, I do. I do. The first one I took, I, I you mean jam, right? Yeah, did you delay your results? Yes, yes. The first one was delayed. The second one, I didn't even see my results. <laughs> I didn't even see my result. So the third one came out, but the, the cut-off mark, you know, yeah, was a kind of. And, and the second choice I had, I didn't want it to go, because I had it to, the, my second choice was, was somewhere in the east. So I didn't want it to, my focus was I wanted to study in Unilag. Well, then there are about over 100,000 results that are being held at the moment. Yeah, there is no way we will do anything in Nigeria without all these discrepancies and 
other things. Maybe they they were involved in all those things. Now, what Jam did this year was that they, they made sure everything was screened before they released the results. Okay. That's what they said, though. I don't know. Oh, that's what they said? Mm. So you can't really verify it, though. Uh, anything in Nigeria is what they said, it's not what we see. Uh, according to what I saw online, they said um, due to examination malpractice and the likes. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that was the reason why some results were withheld. Mm -hmm. But I know, you know, this is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Excuses always come up. But I bet you, the other thousands, everything can never be examination malpractice. That yeah. I know for yeah. sure. Well, number one, it can be so devastating as in after writing an exam and someone just holds your results to prevent you from doing some things. Then the numbers of results withheld, I don't know the reasons behind this though, but I think it's just bad because number one, these are young people that are trying to, most people have dreams, let me just go into university and come out sharp sharp yes. So we told him it is not funny actually, it's kind of heartbreaking. My sister wrote jam to this year. Okay, so our result, they held it back for, I think, I thought was, she was supposed to see the next day, but then until the following week and some days before she saw her results, and I know they are still holding some people's results back. Uh, I suspect maybe deduction is taking place, because there's belief that uh, maybe they cheated in the exam, so the only way they feel they could cope that is by removing some certain number of scores from what they had scored, so I think possibly deduction is taking place. I'm sure one or two persons have said something that you can relate with. Some experience that you also had when you were writing the jam exam. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, I could resonate with some of them. So, please do not hesitate to drop your experiences in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. You always have the best stories. Let me know your scores, what it was like, were your results delayed? And of course, what team are you on? Team Scrap Jam or Team Keep Jam? Let's keep talking about the jam system. My name is Dark Chuck and this is Paul TV Vox Pop. I'm not going to run like this. Did you call the cops? Always stay connected and get free and personalized stories delivered directly to you. Download the new Paul's Buzz app for free now.